In this lecture, we will solve a numerical example that will cover all the concepts which we have studied in our previous two lectures. Now let us see what's the example. It is said that there is a 500 MVA, 20 KV, 60 Hz synchronous generator which is having subtransient reactance as 0.15 per unit on its base the transient reactance to be 0.24 per unit and the synchronous direct axis reactance as 1.1 per unit. We are also given various time constants. The subtransient time constant is 0 0.035 seconds. The transient one is 2 seconds. You can see the difference. This is very very small as compared to the uh, this time constant because it depends upon the field winding which is highly inductive and it depends upon the damper winding and the eddy currents. And the armature winding is having a time constant of 0.2 seconds. And this generator is connected to a circuit breaker. It is also told that the generator is at no load and the voltage at no load is 1.05 per unit. Now a three phase short circuit has occurred at its terminals and it is told that the circuit breaker interrupts the fault after three cycle of the fault initiation. That is the circuit breaker will get a signal from the relay and all those that all thing will take total time of three cycles before the circuit breaker interrupts the fault. So what we are asked, we are asked to find the subtransient fault current, the maximum DC offset as a function of time and the RMS asymmetrical fault current which can be which will be interrupted by the circuit breaker assuming that the DC offset is having the maximum value. So let us see how to solve this kind of numerical and this will cover all the concepts which we have studied in our previous two lectures. We are given that the voltage base is 20 kV, the VA base is 500 MVA then it implies that the current base will be VA base over root 3 V base which comes out to be 500 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 20 into 10 to the power 3. Using the calculator I already solved this thing. I got the value as 14.43 kilo amps okay so I have found the base current now I will find the subtransient fault current now from the definition of subtransient fault current it is nothing but the ratio of the pre fault voltage and the subtransient reactance we are just dealing with the magnitudes so I have not written J here showing that it is a reactance so it will come out a 1.05 divided by 0 0.15 and it is equal to 7 per unit which implies that in amps it comes out to be 7 into I base which is 14.43 kilo amps and on multiplication it will come out to be 101 kilo ampere. So this solves the first part. Okay, now we will move on to the second part. In our lectures, we have seen that the maximum DC offset can have a value which is equal to the maximum value of the symmetrical fault current. That is, it can have 
वैल्यू रूट टू टाइम्स दी सब ट्रांजेंट फोल्ड करंट वैल्यू दिस इज एन आर एम एस दैट्स वाई आई हैव टू पुट रूट टू हियर नाउ दिस डीसी ऑफ सेट विल डिसिपेट और डाई डाउन विद एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म एंड सिंस इट इज फ्लोइंग इन द आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग सो इट्स टाइम कॉन्स्टेंट विल बी द सेम एज द आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग टाइम कॉन्स्टेंट सो इट विल कम आउट टू बी रूट टू टाइम्स सेवन पर यूनिट इन टू ई माइनस टी ओवर पॉइंट टू इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट नाइन ई माइनस फाइव टी पर यूनिट और इफ आई वॉन्ट टू राइट इन दी किलो एम्स इट इज इट इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू 9.9 पॉइंट नाइन इंटू फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर थ्री विच कम्स आउट टू बी वन फोर्टी टू पॉइंट एट ई माइनस फाइव टी किलो एम्स सो दिस सोल्व दी पार्ट बी ऑफ आवर क्वेश्चन नाउ वी विल मूव टू दी थर्ड पार्ट दिस पार्ट सी इन विच वी हैव डिटरमाइन दी आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ दी एसिमेट्रिकल फॉल्ट करेंट this concept we have studied just in our previous lecture that strictly speaking this is uh, there is no rms value defined for this asymmetrical current because the terms the dc offset term is not a periodic term there however we stressed the concept of rms and we defined the rms asymmetrical fault current there so before that we will have to find the value of various currents at three cycles because we have to find the current which the circuit breaker is going to interrupt now we are told that this is 60 hertz system which is different than the 50 hertz used in india so for 60 hertz three cycles are equivalent to 3 over 60 seconds or 0.05 seconds okay now we derived the expression for the symmetrical short circuit current and it was nothing but eg 1 over xd plus 1 over x d prime minus 1 over x d e minus t over tau d prime plus 1 over x d double prime minus 1 over x d prime e minus t over tau d double prime and sin omega t plus alpha minus theta okay now we are going to assume the maximum values only so this term sin term is taken to be 1 so i need to find the value of this thing at t is equal to 0.05 seconds that is this iac 0.05 is nothing but i will put the value of eg which is just 1.05 all the values are given in the question these all values are given in the question so i will put t is equal to 0.05 all or other values are known so i can find this value and it comes out to be 4.920 per unit or in the kilo amps it comes out to be 71.01 kilo amps okay now we know that the rms value of the asymmetrical fault current was defined as the square of i dc offset and the square of i asymmetrical okay now 
these currents we already know i need to find at 0.05 second that is at 3 cycles so i know this value it is 71.01 kilo amps and this value at 0.05 seconds will be having some other value which i will get from this equation which is 142.8 e minus t and i will put the value of t 0.05 seconds this is the square here and it is 71.01 square and all are in kilo amps so value will come in the kilo amps only so putting the value of t is equal to 0.05 i will get this equal to 132 kilo amps so from this numerical example we can see that if we neglect the dc offset current then we may not find the actual values of the currents which a circuit breaker may need to operate with since you see that the subtransient fault current was 101 kilo ampere in the RMS. However, even after three cycles, the circuit breaker had to interrupt 132 kilo ampere current in the RMS form. So you see that the DC offset was having quite a good amount even after three cycles. So for such kind of calculations, for such kind of fast circuit breakers, we need to take care for, of the DC offset current also. And it is usually taken care of by, uh, multi, by various multiplying factors depending upon the time the, after which the circuit breaker usually operates. And we can also see one more thing that the symmetrical current is having a very large difference between the initial values and the value at the after, after the three cycles like the symmetrical subtransient fault current is 101 kilo ampere but after three cycles it just reduces to 71.01 kilo ampere so there is a big difference in the numerical values of these two currents. So you see that the subtransient component dies very quickly and the value of current, symmetrical current reduces to towards the normal uh, or sustained, uh, sustained values very fast. So from this example, we have seen many of the practical concepts and we have revised I think all the concepts which we have studied in our previous two lectures. So if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you.